Hi guys and welcome back to AI Turtle and today we'll be exploring the key differences between Gemini and Google Assistant. So this here is a Google Pixel 8a and uh, as of late Google has been pushing their AI chatbot Gemini as a replacement of Google Assistant on Android. So let's test which assistant is better. First of all, we'll be testing which assistant is better for setting timers and alarms. Hey Google, set a 30 second timer called subscribe. Okay, let's see. Nice, it can set the timer. Now it's time for us to test Google Gemini. So set a 30 second timer called subscribe. All right, a 30 second timer called subscribe, starting now. Wow, it actually works. As you can see, both assistants work well when setting timers, and I guess the result would be the same for setting alarms. So let's move on to the next section, which is checking WhatsApp messages. Okay, so now why is it important to check notifications well it's to see which assistant actually works better with third-party apps not specifically whatsapp but like any app because whatsapp is a third-party app that a lot of people use so yeah let's just test it out check my whatsapp notifications you've got a new message from Ki young Wu on whatsapp Okay. Oh, I'm in JB. Okay, that's good. Um, Do you want to reply? No, I don't want to reply. So let's just check out Google Gemini next. Check my WhatsApp notifications. Okay, let's see if this works. You've got a new message from Ki Young Woo okay. on WhatsApp. All right. Oh, dot. I'm in JB. Okay. Do you want to reply? No, I don't want to reply. So I guess this works well. So both work fine, but the weird thing is when using Gemini, there's this small little Google Assistant icon, so I guess Gemini is using Google Assistant to check third-party app notifications. So then let's just move on to the next important section, which is other than checking messages, you also need to send them. So yeah, let's check that out. So when using Google Assistant, it will ask you whether you want to use SMS via Google Messages or if the person has a WhatsApp account and you have WhatsApp, it will ask whether you want to use WhatsApp instead. But when using Gemini, Gemini will just detect whether the person has a WhatsApp account and will just send via WhatsApp unless you say something else. So another important category is Google Maps or navigating. So which assistant works better when you want to map out a route to somewhere you want to go? Well, in a side-by-side -side comparison, Gemini has a cleaner interface compared to Google Assistant, which also shows you search results on Google. So I think Gemini wins this category here, clearly. So what if you want to ask your assistant a question? Well, when asking a question, Gemini is more conversational than Google Assistant as it's an AI model instead of a way to search faster on Google. Like over here, when you ask what people think of Thick of It, oh yeah, Thick of It, because Google Assistant just shows you the lyrics for the song while Google Gemini summarizes everything into a single response. Both work fine, but Gemini doesn't need you to go into the app as you can see here while Google Assistant opens the YouTube Music app. But to me, this doesn't really make much of a difference, so I guess they both win this category here. Both Gemini and Google Assistant are good, but I think Gemini here wins this battle as it has 
all of Google Assistant's features as well as its AI-generated summaries. If you enjoyed the video, please consider to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys!